Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US daily stocks for September Thursday 30th and I'll just start on the Nasdaq first here because it gives us a bit of an overall of kind of what's happening in that um, obviously we've got wave three up here and we're going down for wave four. <clears throat> One of the main points is that a lot of these corrections are working in three waves so an A and a B and a C for the A wave here. So that means that they can continue to work in three, so an A and a B and a C, an A and a B and a C uh, here as well. So that's what we need to be a little bit mindful of. Um, from wave B here coming down through here, we've been counting down five waves. So we may have a low in here because we've had that um, fifth wave there, but also too from wave four to wave five here, that little move here, that could just be um, wave one and then two, and then three, four, and five coming down, say, to the midpoint here for that, uh, and then having a correction back up through this way, and then having another five waves down at that point. Okay, so uh, we'll just go to the tick chart and have a bit of a look at that, but that'll just give you a bit of an idea. So we either go back up, you know, from that low to the B wave now, or we have a little five waves down. So a new low here would um, cement that in. So just on 100 ticks and a bit more data. So yeah, um, wave B up here. So one and two and three and four and five through here. So, um, it's coming down pretty quick now isn't it so that's probably about right for that retracement at that point at 61.8 percent so i'll just put that there to remind me that we've checked and so then i guess um I mean, it still could go up from there, but if it takes the low out, then you kind of know where we are at that point, you know? So that means that we would need to look at this here as wave one here and two here, and then we go down for, you know, three, four, five, that kind of thing. So we'll just see what occurs there. And um, yeah, so that's that. So we're either sort of pushing up to that B wave or if we take that low out, you'll know where we are. We'll have one and two and three and four and five and that will take us down to the midpoint roughly. Uh, yeah, and then we'll have to drop this wave A down here for that. Okay, um, alrighty. So a bit of bearish connotations there. So uh, with Amazon here on the daily chart, uh, we're looking at this as the a, the a wave, an A and a B and a C for the B wave, and down for the C wave. Now these sorts of things are the, just being in a wave four um, is tricky business, you know. And then being in a B wave um, <clears throat> where they work in sets of three, because the trouble when they work in sets of three is they can just double in size, you know, and keep producing three you know uh, and so it's just really tricky uh, as I mentioned yesterday it's not a place to trade unless you're an intraday trader so I mean the other thing here I suppose is that uh, you know, it did rally back up to the 61.8% so it's possible that we can put wave B here as well and have a deeper wave C in this case as well so there's a few things that um, you know, there's a variety of things that can occur. So it's a bit hard to um, tell you where the market's going. I mean, when we go to an intraday basis, we can kind of figure it out a little bit, you know. So like, you know, some things are a little bit easier. So from uh, we've got this ABC down to this point, and then we've got an ABC back up to that point. Uh, we've breached that little low there. So this three wave move here is only part of a larger move. And I suppose we could look at down as wave one down, back for wave two, down for wave one, back for wave two. Do you know what I mean? And, and having a much deeper move down. We can see, for instance, this is one and two and three and four here, a bit of an overlap there. So we could call it down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two. We could do that way as well. Um, 
so we'll just see how this goes. I mean, we are talking all about this yesterday. We are looking for the rally. Um, you know, obviously there's good support on, on the 300 there. Uh, if it can push through here, uh, it may, um, I mean, if it, <coughs> if it finds it as resistance, then like this low that it makes on the retest here, you know, you could probably short it at that point. But otherwise, um, we'd be looking for wave C to come back up into that space at that point so there's a lot so there's a lot of possibilities which doesn't make it very easy and um, I don't really have any answers today on, on things um, I guess I'd rather be short than long put it that way you know um, and if you have a small position like really quite small then you can give things a bit of uh, a bit of space so yeah I mean that level there that three three there um looking at it as a um as a as a bearish pattern if you're looking you know we're looking for wave five to come down uh, if it retests and then fails and takes that low out well then really you can short from that point you know it may go back above the level as well there and um you know do do that i still use that reference point low there but kind of um you know that when you it's only subtle, but that rally there, you know, it, I mean, is, this rally is connected to this and this is connected to the hip bone and, you know, that bone's connected to that. So, I mean, they're all sort of connected. But when when you're starting another leg here, it's also, um, it's, it's a different leg, isn't it, than that leg, you know. So use these use the the lows on 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 these on on these ones but you can still use this but gravitate over to the closest largest number at that point and look for you know this whole pattern here again um at that particular price point whatever a bit if it's a whole number you know for instance um just the largest number at that point there yeah, because obviously it's got meaning at that point so yeah so the market comes down has the arrival the reaction the first low below the level uh a correction back i mean this one two three four five if it comes down which would be about right here so down to the 32.50 then it can have a um a, a retracement level from that point there as well if that is five waves down to that point then it could just come back to the 50 60 percent here as well and then move down from that point so being five waves you know so let's just clean this up here just do a bit more of a likely scenario I mean, I'm looking for it to go over here as well. But the point being is that, you know, this low becomes important in both cases because if it just goes back up there and breaks back down through here, then you want to be short. Um, and if it goes back up to here and comes back down, you want to be short in here. And you can use this one over here, but you're better off just using the 32.50 as a, another classic trading levels pattern. But it does help steer you in the right direction at that particular point. Um, yeah, or because we've got that five wave structure here then um you know sort of still looking for another c wave over you know over this point you know this move here giving us a c wave here before we go down again you know uh so a little bit tricky it's just difficult to count that as you know as a corrective wave it's pretty impulsive i mean the only thing it's got that's not there is if we look at one and two and three and four and five to that point I suppose we could look at that as an A and a B and a C there, but it looks like it's in three. So we've got this tiny little bit up here that doesn't really sort of fit. Uh, so that's that's the only issue with that particular thing. But otherwise, it's uh, uh, impulsive, and that means that we'd need to have an impulsive wave over here. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to stick my head in the sand and, and not trade what I see, as, so to speak. So uh, this is currently a support here. And this number and if it becomes the resistance well then you need to be on that side of the market to get your timing right okay shouldn't waffle on too much uh google 
Uh, this is a tick chart, and it's also working in threes as well. So an ABC for the A wave, uh, the B wave, the C wave for the A wave, the B wave here, and the C wave coming into play uh, here for this. So yeah, this can drop uh, further. This is probably one and two in here and three and four and five in here. So there may be another little low here. So it's probably um, a move back into the 50, 60% retracement level area and then down again from that point. Now, this could also, um, because of this particular pattern here, we could get five waves here of one and two and three and four and five, or we may end up just with three. So this A wave here, like this A wave here, it's got A, B, C there. We may get that over here as an A, B, C as well. So we need to be a little bit mindful of that. But whichever way you look at it, this being wave one or wave A, we should see a, a little bit more of a drop here in the next sesh and then, um, and then some sort of rally. It may not go that high either, um, but, you know, understanding that uh, reaction from that impulse wave and then down again at that point. So that's kind of where that is. Um, so, yeah, it's not finished. Um, I don't know if it's going to be in three waves or five waves. But I'd rather be short. Uh, Apple here. So... Uh, with Apple here, so the same thing as well is that um, it could just, just continue to finish its leg down through here or we may get an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here and that B wave is over here and we go, then we go down. Once again, I'd rather be short. Um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, let's just go in and have a look at the tick chart. A little bit messy, but the takeaway here is wave three up here with one, two, three, four, five for the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave for wave A here. Over for either the blue wave A, and then down for the B wave here, and then up for the C wave here. Just let me get this into order. So, yeah, an A wave in blue, B wave here, and then a C wave. Um, over here for this so basically an a b c and then we go down but at the same time uh you know if this if, if that's the b wave there then all of this move here i mean i've counted uh, as an a wave and a b wave here and then one and two and three four and five here for the c wave here but um, and I've also got wave one here, uh, looking back for wave two and then coming down again as well. So um, I think I'll just put, because, because this can be an A wave, a B wave and a C wave and move up from there, I'm just going to, and that's nearly finished there. Let me just have a little look in that. It's probably one, two, three, four, five. So that's probably the low there for that. So I think I better just be safe. And sometimes you hear me talk about when we talk about group one, say in this case, we've got 40 here, then we've got one, two, and three here. So if we get the number two <clears throat> as the resistance, then we know that the market's gonna be going lower at that point. Okay, so we need, um, yeah, we just need, you know, the, you know the story. So we need it <clears throat> either like that or like that, um, just visually seeing it as resistance and then you can go down from that point so i've got this down here as possible wave one and wave two back to this point and this may also just go to here and then go down again so that two here is what you want as the resistance and that would be the short trade at that point but otherwise we'll mosey along up for wave c here <clears throat> and then go down at that point. So I, these are the things that I'm, I'm not quite sure about. Um, but I can say that 142, you'd want your first position. And because there's support over here, it's going to be a bit rough. But um, and eventually look for the other short position under the 140 as the resistance. So, yeah, once again, a couple of things can happen here. So I'm, I'm you know, I, I won't be able to give you 
you know, a clear direction at, at this at this stage with any of these. I mean, it's, each stock can do its own thing to a point as well. So, um, Square, <clears throat> well, this is pretty straightforward. So, wave three, four, five for three over here, down for one, back for two, down for one, back for two. And we're going into the third wave uh, here. And we're probably... Um, <clears throat> take the low out over here for all of this and we'll just see how it plays out down here i mean you know maybe the other thing with this as well if i can just borrow this we just got to be sort of mindful of things i mean maybe this can just be the a wave here and the b wave here and then we have five waves down for the c wave here so one two three four five here and then that's the wave four there do you know what i mean as an abc so that's that's probably the right right move you know so we'll just leave that there um but we're definitely in the third wave here i was sort of looking for um a bit of a retest uh here we don't have it just yet um but it would be nice to get like one two three four and five here down for the third wave so to speak you know so we'll look for that retest to add to our positions <clears throat> Yeah, I'll probably have to redo this into an ABC, I'd, I'd imagine. Anyway, we'll run we'll run both counts, but we'll just know that at the end of one, two, three, four, five, which ha whichever way the cookie crumbles, um, that wave three, that wave five there, that can be the low at that point for this wave four based on this being the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave. And of course, we would have to lift it up as well. It's not really that A wave there either. So I better get rid of that and that. <clears throat> and what I need to do is put the A wave. I'm just going to make it small so it's just sort of out of the way a little bit for the time being anyway. So an A wave there and a B wave there. And then that makes us five waves down for, for, for that. We'll just have a look at the um, intraday as well. So with wave one here and wave two over here. And I'll probably have to lift these up as well for sure. So yeah, it means I need to lift that one up as well. So I'll just leave it for the day for the time being, but um, what I'm trying to do here is just work out the five waves down here. I mean, obviously this is wave one and two here, and then we've got this sweeping move here, but I'm thinking that can be one and two here, and then dark blue three and four and five here. So, and this one here is not finished, so what one and two and three and four, it's, oh, it's moved along a little bit, so that's good. Um, so, yeah, um, I suppose whichever way it goes, um, we'd probably get the bounce from the 230 off group one at that point, don't need that. unless it's just going to continue to cascade. But basically what we're looking for here in a nutshell is maybe off the 230 here's a three wave move here so we can find a way in to short it again up at this point. But still a, a long way to go down with all of this. I mean, especially when you consider, um, if you just take that in there. So I might just change these just here for a moment. That can go over, th oh, let's delete. <clears throat> that can go over to there, I think. Get rid of these guys. That's there, that's there. Don't need those. I'll just leave that one and two there for the time being as well. I'll just make the change slow and, uh, but yeah, it just brings us into the right point. Is there any other way that this can be counted? Let's just have a quick look.
Yeah, maybe. I mean, obviously that's wave, you know, the first wave, that's one and two here. I wonder if that's one, two, three, four, five. It still leaves us a bit short, doesn't it? I mean, it's a corrective pattern. Well, that's what gave us the problems in the first place. Or we could look at that as one, two, three, four, five for the third, all of the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave. That's probably the right way to look at it. The ABC. can't look at that as all of wave one. I was just thinking of one, two, three, four and five, but that's a bit overlaps that, so that's not going to fit. Yeah, I think that we're on the right track here, but we probably need to lift these to orange as minor wave A and B, and then this wave one and this wave two here. So we'll probably start building that case, and that means that this will be rearranged over here, so that will bring over here for that. Okay, not to worry though. Anyway, uh, the bounce will probably come off the 230 and we'll see if we can add to the position at that point. I think we did talk about it shorting it under this low here, but I can't recall, so it doesn't matter. Um, Facebook, okay, so... Um, let's just go to the tick chart here. Just remind myself where we're at with this, bring in some more data. Okay, so. So it makes wave one, ABC for two here, one and two and three and four and five, the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here. So that's all good. I put the fifth wave on this sharp low here because it would give the extension in wave three and then wave one and wave five would be roughly the same. But at the same time here, um, we need to, so we can look at that as five waves here. But if this is an A and a B and a C wave here, like for corrective. So the two things I've got going on here is this low in place here for wave five of A, or we need to treat this as wave one here and two here, and then we go down for, you know, into wave three here, and eventually this wave five goes over here. We'll have one, two, three, four, five, which should just copy while we're here. And yeah, it goes, it plays out that way. So what I was thinking is that this low here, if that becomes the retested resistance here, let's just say that, you know, the story, the arrival, which it's doing now, the reaction, the first low below the level, that kind of thing. So that can go under there for that. And that way we'd capture that third wave in that in that space. And this would here would be wave one here and two here and one and two and moving down, which looks kind of like the case. Um, so I'll just copy that, put that back there again. So yeah, if we get that trade set up, we take it. Otherwise we'll look for um, uh, the B wave rally in this case, which I don't know, everything looks a little bit bearish. So it's a bit hard to sort of see that rally at that point, you know, so we need to be prepared on the lower side for that. And um, Tesla, so yeah, I mean, the, the, the we just need to chill here because we have a wave count that takes us to the 800. I can also see in the last fifth wave that we can easily extend this here. So you can probably see it here. If we look at, if we look at this little move up here as one and two here, and all of that is the third wave, then it makes that the fourth wave and we'll have one more little push up there. So when I look at it like this, it just makes sense that there's going to be another push up here. Um, in terms of, um, will it will it crash down here? Will it stick to the 800? Um, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really bother me that much because all we'll do to go long is we'll just wait for a trade set up here like I mentioned yesterday. So if that's the high here, that's the first high, we can go along above that. That's the second high here, we can go along above that. We could probably also get another high, but if it just does that and drops, then um, you know we're, we're not gonna be involved in it. But if it gives us the setup on the long side, then um, <clears throat> then we can go for it. So you know, currently we're kind of reacting here somewhere and it looks like we will push up there, but it doesn't mean that we can go long because we still need the rest of the setup to fall into place. 
and it just stops us getting trapped, you know, and it comes right down to the wire because this will come down and bounce anyway, being bullish or bearish, and this here, and then we'll come down, and then it'll come back and check this here. So it's at this point here, that's the point that it fails, and it could come back above the level there as well and fail, hit here, and then drop. So it really sort of pulls it into a particular point there um, where you can't, capture it you know so we just have to wait for that that's all that's all i can say um i mean the a wave here is you know quite small compared to the b wave here so it may be you know that the guideline of alternation where if wave two is simple wave four will be complex and that is the case most of the time but sometimes you get wave two that is complex and wave four that's simple but it's the same thing with these corrections as well if wave a is simple then expect wave b to be complex and then wave c can be simple or it can even be more complex as long as it's different that's all it's always different it's either a trend or a correction isn't it you know and there's just degrees of that Alrighty, I'll leave it all. Oh, well, well, go and have a look. Yeah, I mean, we're here, so. Um, but no real change from what I've been yakking about anyway, so. So from the low here, we can go one, two, three, four, and then extension the fifth wave, and then we're done. Um, but obviously, as I pointed out before, this this nice long move here, that can be viewed as a uh, as a third wave over here. And this fourth wave can certainly be viewed, mm, I don't know, that doesn't look like five waves, does it? Well, anyway, if it, if it, you see how it's supported in group two here, 65, 72, and 80, if it dropped out of that, if the 65, the 765 became the retested resistance, then I'd be happy to be on the short side of it. But you'd need a classic trading levels pattern here to, to, uh, to, to look at shorting that. I'll move that over because it will just get squashed up when the uh, program's closed. Um, so yeah, I mean, as always, this is the big number. Group one above, group, group two below. That's the first swing range for all of this. So I never really do much in this space because you just get chopped up, it's emotional and it doesn't really get you anywhere. So, you know, if we're gonna be bullish, we need to see that. We need to see this here. Um, and then we need to see that and that's where we go long from and of course we can get better positions and we can do all sorts of other little things but in a nutshell that's what we're looking at at that point so we'll just see how that plays out um yeah all good alrighty um yeah so just to recap you know these 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 corrections that we're in um for this intermediate wave four you know is a little bit complex so um, you need to trade less. You don't want to be losing money in wave fours. That's the typical scenario, you know, making money in wave threes and giving it back in wave fours. And all I can say is less is more. Just halve your position sizes and, um, and you know, be involved in, 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 in one way or another. But don't let it take your money. All righty. Cheers.